Welcome, fans, to another exciting edition of WCW Worldwide. We come to you tonight from the Worldwide Arena in Orlando, Florida. On tap, two cruiserweight tournament matchups and the WCW Tag Team Champions, the Nasty Boys in action. Buckle up, this is Worldwide. Welcome here, fans. It's time for our opening matchup. We've got a cruiserweight matchup here between Prince Ayakea and Chavo Guerrero. All right, Prince Ayakea here making his way to the ring. Again, he's going to take on Chavo Guerrero tonight. The winner of this match is going to move on to the second round where they're going to face either El Dandy or Rey Mysterio Jr. That match is going to take place on WCW Saturday night tomorrow. CJ, what are you looking forward to in this one? I'm not too sure I'm looking forward to. What are you looking forward to? Looking forward to some fast-paced action. Prince Ayakea here, known for wrestling barefoot, and he's going to be taking on Chavo Guerrero, a man with the Guerrero family legacy. Very talented family. A very talented family. Two of them in our cruiserweight tournament. There he is, Chavo Guerrero. Again, the winner of this match is going to move on and fight the winner of that El Dandy Rey Mysterio matchup. We have another great matchup coming up tonight also. We have a first round matchup between Liz Mark Jr. and Chris Jericho. I'm really looking forward to that one in our main event just as much as I'm looking oh, forward I to this too. one right here. And don't forget, we also have a matchup tonight. With WCW Tag Team Champions, the Nasty Boys in action, Brian Nobbs and Jerry Sags. They'll be bringing those belts to the ring as they gear up for a tag team title defense against Harlem Heat at Fall Brawl. And I really can't wait for Fall Brawl. Fall Brawl is going to be a tremendous event. We've got a world title match between Hulk Hogan defending against Vader. we got a U.S. title match, Jim Duggan defending that strap against Ming. The tag team titles, as I mentioned, we're going to have the finals for this cruiserweight tournament. And so many more great matches. Very action-packed night. Chavo Guerrero going ahead, meeting Ayakea with a kick. Now with a bit of a slam there. And Chavo trying to get the crowd into it. Doing a bit of a money, money, money dance. Maybe he's hoping to go to the pay window tonight. Aren't you? Well, I think everybody likes to get a win and collect a little bit more money in their check. As Guerrero goes up top. Driving down with an elbow to Ayakea going for a pin right in the middle of the ring. Two count, Ayakea kicks out. But he's still not able to get up and Chavo is going to continue to put the boots to him. How's Ayakea going to put the boots to Chavo? He ain't even got any. Oh, that's maybe that's why he's been unable to about very much offense in this one. I mean, it's possible. Chavo just tossing Ikea's face back into the mat, goes ahead and meets him with what looks appears to be a closed fist, locks him up. He's got a bit of a sleeper hold here. No, Ikea fighting back. Here we go. Ikea now meeting Chavo with some chops. Chavo counters with an elbow. This is the kind of action you see every week between the cruiserweight competitors. Chavo again going for a pin here. Unable to get a three count Only there. A one. Yeah, it's like Chavo thought that was going to be enough. Ayakea really slow to get up. And Chavo just clubs him back Got down. Got strength on him. He said, no way. Couple of kicks here. Oh, what a maneuver Ooh. there by Chavo. 
That looks like it hurt. Yeah. Look at this. Oh no. Chavo, I think he might have been setting him up for a power bomb, but Ayakea fighting Ooh. back. Now he's going to go for a pin. We'll be right back after a moment with more WCW action. Welcome back, fans, from the commercial. We've had a bunch of back and forth action during the break. And Chavo now feeling the effects of Ayakea's fist. He counters with a fist of his own, a couple kicks. Chavo going for another pin. Is this going to be it, CJ? It could be. Looks like it is. Wow, Chavo Guerrero moving on to the Cruiserweight Tournament. Again, he's going to fight the winner of that El Dandy Rey Mysterio match. But right now, a big victory for the nephew of Eddie Guerrero. That's big. A big victory. A little bit of sportsmanship shown here in the middle of the ring. We'll be back in a oh, moment with more worldwide action. Welcome back, fans, to more WCW Worldwide. It's time for a tag team matchup. On their way right here, the Vianos. These two masked superstars, they're going to be in action here against the WCW Tag Team Champions, the Nasty Boys. CJ, the Nasty yeah. Boys, they're back in action. They got their straps around their waist. Are those still going to be around their waist after Fall Brawl? I mean, I don't know. They're going to be fighting Harlem Heat at Fall Brawl, so who knows? It could, I mean, the tag titles could go to Harlem Heat. I tell you, that matchup between Brian Noms, Jerry Sags, Booker T, Stevie Ray, it's going to be one for the ages. That's why oh, it really is going to be. Everybody watching, you need to call your cable provider now. You need to tell them you want WCW Fall Brawl. You want to see the Nasty Boys. You want to see Harlem Heat. You want to see Vader and Hogan. You want to see Duggan and Ming. You want to find out who's going to be the first Cruiserweight Champion. I mean, I, I still want to know who it's going to be. It could be anybody. We're going to have a thrilling card as Jerry Sags is in the ring right here. He's facing off against, that appears to be Vano number five. I think one of them might be a little bit shorter than the other. I'm still trying to figure this one out. So it's not Vienna number 55? Um, I think the Roman numeral is just the V, so that would be five, right? Oh, I don't know. Sags going ahead. He's working over Viano 5, doing some punches to the head. He's going to go ahead and tag in Brian Nobbs. There's no denying. We know Brian Nobbs. We know Jerry Sags. We know what they're all about. Oh, yes, we do. And right now, they are the WCW Tag Team Champions. And one of the things they do really well here is they're just brute brawlers. And Knobs right here picking up and dropping Viano 5. Doing a little bit of posing a la Hulk Hogan there. I mean, a little bit of posing is all right. It's when you overdo it, you get too cocky. Well, maybe Brian Knobs must pose. And right now, Brian Dobbs is going to just throw Viano 5 around the ring. A little bit more posing by Dobbs. Firmly in control of this one here. Viano 5 trying to make the tag. Unable to do so. Dobbs again slamming him down. I tell you one thing, they're not going to be able to do this against Booker T and Stevie Ray. Harlem Heat, a well-oiled machine. The brothers, they know each other's moves. They've been tag teaming since they were little. See, Dave, do you ever think you could be tag team champions with your brother? Oh, probably not. Why not? A little bit of trouble there? I mean, yeah. Cab and not exactly an ideal tag team partner is what you're saying. Yeah, pretty much. I think I was just a commentary. Kick out by Viano 5. He desperately needs to make a tag here and get the fresh man in. Sags picking him up. Oh, Viano 5 with the leg sweep. 
He's trying to make his way to the ring. Is he going to make the tag? Yes, he does. Viano four in the ring now. The fresh Viano in. And he's whipped into the ropes, thrown out of the ring. Oh, fresh Viano in, fresh Viano out. He ain't so fresh anymore. And it looks like Sags is going to go ahead and dock, or rather deck, the other Viano off the apron. Oh, Viano 5 coming back in the ring. And now the Viano starting to show a little bit of offense. Is this an opportunity here? Viano I mean, it really could be here. This could be an upset in the making. Viano with an elbow drop. Sags doing this kid back over to the knobs. Looks like Viano 4 poised to strike. Oh. You, he lets Sags recover. That's not a very smart thing to do. Not at all. And Sags connects with that DDT. He's able to tap knobs in. The crowd reacts. They know it could be just a matter of moments before the Nasty Boys find themselves victorious here. But right now, Viano counters with the springboard off the ropes. Cross body. Hip tossed by Knobs. Tagging back in Sags. You know, I gotta ask you something, CJ. The Nasty Boys yeah. t-shirt. Not exactly something that is easy on the eyes. Can you believe they actually made two shirts that look like that? I mean, I don't know. It kind of looks like ketchup and mustard with a spray on a white t-shirt. <laughs> and speaking of ketchup and mustard... Maybe that's what's underneath the mask of the Vianos. I mean, it could be. Nobs tossing the Viano outside of the ring, and Nobs looking down at him, telling him to get up. Referee going to go ahead and start the mandatory 10 count here. And both Nasty Boys make their way down to the, the arena floor. What if they were the clean boys? Well, then we wouldn't have to worry about the odor right now as Sags goes ahead and he delivers a power bomb. Viano 5 now having his knee worked on. He's going to go ahead and punch at Sags, trips him down. Referee up to a five count here. And Viano goes ahead, he's got Sags down on the floor. After a six count, though, they really need to get back in that ring for the ten. Somebody's going to have to get back in the ring here for this one before they get counted out. Viano We're might be going back to the ring. Eight count. Viano goes in, breaks the count, and not sure that was a wise decision because now that's giving Sags a bit of an opening. Sets him up for ooh. an atomic drop right into the ring on post. Those, that looks, ooh. Oh. Uh, not a good feeling, I'm sure. Oh, not at all. But Viano able to regain the upper hand here. He throws Sags into the ring. Of course, he just threw Sags into the ring just for Sags to pick him up and hit him with the vertical suplex. Viano 4 wanting to get tagged back in. I wouldn't want to be tagged in this. Well, right now, it Sag's going for a pin, but Viano 4 able to break it up. And now well, Sag's going to go Force ahead and... With him. Sag's is going to go ahead and toss him out of the ring. He said, I've had enough of you. Viano 5 whipping Sag's into the ring. He's going for... Oh, what a maneuver! All the way outside, flipping over the rope, power bombing, sags down to the floor. Going for, I thought he was going for a surfboard there for a moment, but instead he does a maneuver to weaken up the knees. And he immediately, again, working on the knees here. That's a submission maneuver, however, they're outside of the ring. You're not going to get a submission out there. Referee up to a five count, and this one's broken down. These two teams again finding themselves on the outside. Both men trying to get back into the ring. Sags able to break the count. Seven count going on here. Viano goes ahead and drops Sags across the top rope. Welcome back fans. 
during the break, it's been all nasty boys. They look poised for a title matchup again at Ball Brawl against Harlem Heat. Sags dropping Viano across his leg. He's going to go ahead and turn his attention to the Viano over there on the ring apron. And now, dropping him down on the apron. Both Vianos uh, that, are that down. That added a hurt. Both Vianos are down. Both Vianos are down. One Viano down. Two Vianos down. Viano four down. Viano five down. Sags hitting with the headbutt. Walking back up. We could be. I mean, they ran the Vianos together. A meeting of the minds. Look there. at that. Four and five does not equal nine here. And Sags is going to go ahead. He's going to cheer on himself, it looks like. The fans firmly behind him. And this one could be over in a moment. Well, yes, it could. Hoping it it'll slam. Ooh. Big elbow oh, look at there. that. Viano able to get out after his partner breaking it up. And Sag's going to go ahead and turn his attention back to the man inside the ring here. I think that's probably the, the smart thing to do. You know, he's got a nerve hold, it looks like, here. on, But he's his nerve hold probably not quite like the nerve hold Ming is hoping to put on Jim Duggan here in Fall Oh, Ball no, it is not. That U.S. title matchup. For, ooh, power a bomb. power bomb. That could be it. Looks like it is. And it is. There you go. There's your winners. Our WCW Tag Champs, the Nasty Boys. A big victory as they get ready to go to Fall Brawl to take on Harlem Heat. We'll be back with more worldwide after this commercial break. Welcome back, fans. It's now time for our main event. We got a cruiserweight tournament matchup here. Lismark Jr. winning that matchup against Lenny Lane to earn his way into this tournament after Disco Inferno was how many pounds is it, CJ? It's 27, 21, something like that. 27 pounds overweight, and he's oh, going to be. Oh, the heck is this? It. Oh, is that Disco Inferno? It looks like it is, and he looks like he's running after Lismark. He's moving with some speed and agility. <laughs> he goes for a drop kick and misses. This Lismark didn't even kick. see him. What is going on out here? He's still, oh. And Disco again. Now he's able to connect with that drop kick. Both men what's looking going on at here? each other. I don't oh, know what's going on here. Kind of a bit of a stare down. Fans oh, there we go. For something. Lismark connecting with a couple kicks now to Disco. Now he's going to meet him with a punch. Lismark, head scissor takedown. Lismark Jr. trying to free himself of Disco Inferno here. Snap suplex out on the arena floor. This match hasn't even got started. Chris Jericho hasn't even made his way to the ring yet. Lismark yeah. now hey. taking Disco down again. Jericho might get the advantage here because Lismark's going to be a, a little bit... Um, out maybe of breath a, here if he's dealing with Disco. Maybe a little bit winded, but definitely not any damage he's really taking here from Disco. Oh no, Disco, it's, it's been all Lismark. Disco probably thinking about how quickly can I... And we got a winner flash, winner graphic flashing on our screen here, Lismark Jr. Alright fans, we've gotten the carcass of Disco Inferno out of here. Lismark Jr. in the ring on his way to face him in this opening round matchup of the Cruiserweight Tournament. Chris Jericho. Jericho has got to be considered one of the favorites in this tournament. What do you think, CJ? Oh, I agree with you. I'm excited to see what Jericho's going to do in the ring tonight. Jericho, a man who has wrestled all over the world. Mexico to Japan. He's now in WCW. Hoping to become with the, the big boys. Yep, and hoping to become the inaugural WCW Cruiserweight Champion. This one's just about ready to get underway. 
The winner of this match is going to move on to a second round, and they're going to find themselves wrestling against Ultimo Dragon. All right, the bell has rung, and Liz Mark Jr. on the offense here. Gonna go ahead, he's got Jericho in the corner. Takes a shot at the leg. It's been a thrilling night of action here on Worldwide. Oh, it really has. Earlier, we saw Chavo Guerrero pick up a first round win against Prince Ayakea. Then in WCW Tag Champs, the Nasty Boys. They were victorious in a matchup against the Vianos. And now our main event here, Liz Mark Jr., the masked superstar, fighting against Chris Jericho. And already a two count by Liz Mark. Look at that. Connects with Jericho's face there and Liz Mark on the offense. Look at this. Springboard onto Jericho. Move by Liz Mark. We're seeing some quick and fast-paced action here. Oh, Jericho yes we are. Going to town with those furious feet right now. Oh, look at that. Ooh. You know, Jericho's got all the talent to be a big star here in WCW. Oh, I agree. Very talented. And you gotta wonder... Are we looking at our first cruiserweight champion here? Springboard off the rope by Jericho. I mean, it's very possible. Going for a pin here on Liz I mean, it could be. Look, he just makes very quick work of Liz Mark. You gotta wonder if Liz Mark was maybe a little distracted by that earlier attack by Disco Inferno. Very possible. Thanks, fans, for tuning in here to WCW Worldwide. We'll see you tomorrow night for Saturday night. And don't forget, WCW Monday Night Nitro. For CJ, this is Dad signing off. We'll see you later.